sort of creative industry people. Okay. Um, and yeah, we have various creative experience, motion design, graphic design. Okay. okay. And we're just looking to do great creative work. So you like, you like pretty pictures? We love pretty pictures. That's really what it's about. And, and, and this, this initiative, this idea, where did it come, come about? You could have painted a, a, a school. You could have done so many different ideas. And why this one? Yeah, so I think um, this idea, you know, Joe, we worked in an agency where there was a street vendor opposite us. And every single day, you know, we recognized it, but not everybody else um, in the road recognizes these okay. people. Okay. And they are entrepreneurs and mm. they do need to be recognized for what they do. Absolutely. I mean, they're a large part of our informal it economy. Is. Absolutely. And, and, and a, a, an economy that if we look after it and grow it, it'll, it'll make a, a huge difference in our, in our country. Yeah, they say that the numbers are close to half a million informal, semi-skilled yes. street vendors. Yes. So if we can make a change with that, then yeah. How did you identify? You can, how did the process go about? I, I must tell you, because you mentioned such huge numbers and you end up with three, how did you get to that? Yeah, so we did a lot of research initially. Um, we went to go visit a lot of street vendors, see what they're doing, what type of foods they are serving, how they're trading. Mm. Um, and the idea was about beautifying the streets of not only Johannesburg, but hopefully South Africa later mm. on or mm. even mm. you know further than that. So if we can use our design skills to help other people, because they wouldn't have had access to design to this, yes. or brand. It's a very expensive exercise. <laughs> Imagine if I called and said, hi, I am selling my queen on the side of the room. Come make my stand look pretty. I will do that for you. And how much would it cost me? But, a ton. I don't know. You can chat to Sars for a juice Well, <laughs> I, I guess. I guess. And, but, but tell me, though, as well. Uh, it, did you? What was the process? Did you walk around and said, "This is where we want to do it. This is where we want to do it." What happened? So after we, you know, had done a lot of research, yes. there were three ladies that definitely stuck out to us, and we didn't, um, you know, select them because they were females. Uh -huh. It just so happened to be that way, um, and we couldn't walk away from something. You know, initially we just wanted to brand their vans and beautify it. Like and walk saying. away. Um, and that wasn't the case. Yeah. So the project has actually evolved way further than that, where we've now initiated the crowdfunding campaign okay. um, to purchase new vans. Okay. And we're working in an upskill program. We're trying to get mentors on board that can help them um, with business, finance. Are you, finding easy, are you finding it easy to get support? Oh, no. <laughs> Um, the support has been great so far. Obviously, we could do with a lot more. Yes. Um, financially, we need to sort of raise the cash to, to yeah. purchase these three new vans, yes. um, which turns out to be quite tricky. Um, and we're doing it via crowdfunding on Indiegogo. Okay. Um, and that's under Pump My Street, yes, street yes, Kitchen. Yes, yes. So, yeah, I mean, it, the support's been great, wow. but in terms of finance, we still have quite a, quite a far way to I can, go. I can imagine. Uh, but, but tell me, though, what, what drives you to do this? Because, hell, you know, you could be looking after your, your life and, and carrying on. What drives you to be doing something like this? Yeah, the other day I actually considered um, knitting as a profession. There you go. Simpler. Yes. Um, <laughs> so you do realize the challenges that come with this? Yes, I most definitely know. <laughs> um, so I think that what drives us is that, you know, we've all done the humdrum of the agency life. And, yes. like, why not help other, someone else with your skills um, if that's what you can provide true, to them. True, yeah. So we're just looking for creative expressions. And if we can give back, and if that's a means to do it, that's that, yeah. then we will take on the challenge and we are trying to do it. Um, obviously not as easily as knitting would be. And, and tell me though, how, when, are you, when will this particular project now with these three ladies uh, end? When you'll say, we've done it, we've, we've delivered, uh, they look good. Uh, when will it end? When is the end date for you? So the Indiegogo campaign ends on the 16th of December, okay. um, where we would hopefully have enough funds to then purchase these vans early next year and yeah, have them up yeah. and running by June. But we're already going to start the upskill program in January, um, working with business skills and finances. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if it ever really does end. end? Yes. Um, <laughs> so we have to see how we go forward with it. Um, yeah. Jeez, and, uh, and, and also, you, you've chosen ladies only. I'm a bit jealous. How did, what happened there? There's a lot of guy vendors everywhere. 
There is. Um, it, it's not the woman power thing, right? No. It better be criteria. No. Okay. I'm not right. going to be burning my underwear on a street pole. You better not. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, um, you know, these three women really showed an initiative. They actually yes. are super entrepreneurs. Okay. And they want to pursue their business objective. Yes, And yes. they came up to us with ideas of how they could further their business. Okay. As opposed to somebody who was passively just accepting their circumstances. Yeah, yeah. These people really wanted to make a way forward. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, 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 and tell me though, what, what sort of help uh, would, would you need going forward to grow your project? What, if, if someone listening and thinking, you know, this is such a great idea, we also want to make a contribution, what type of help? Besides the van, because that's not cheap. No. What, what kind of help do you think someone can contribute to what you guys are doing? So the crowdfunding initiative, which we've launched on Indiegogo, people are able to, they almost like purchase rewards from us. Yeah. Um, and these are the artworks which we've designed for the ladies' van. So there's okay. postcards, tote bags, those types of things. Yeah. And they purchase those. The money goes towards the, raising the money for the van. Okay, okay. But there's also a lunch next Sunday, um, which will be held... In Joburg on okay. a rooftop. The wow. tickets are also available on the Indiegogo page. Yes. Where the three ladies will come and cook lunch. Wow. It's a three-course meal. Do you know what they're cooking? What they'll be preparing? They are working with the cook's table. Yes. Um, yes. And that is pop-up lunches which happen around Joburg once a month. Yes. yes. So Zolita from the cook's table will be working on the menu with the three ladies. Okay. And then they will be serving this three-course meal where people can come and enjoy their day. Um, yeah, meet the ladies and some traditional African street food. Yes, can be of had. course. Yeah. Do you know what? I think it's such a great initiative. It's uh, when you take your talent and share it with other people. Uh, and I think, uh, and for free for that matter, I think it's a really great initiative because so many people can do so much, but they don't get involved. You know, they keep yeah. it to themselves. And you